Hi everyone, the day is finally here because I told you guys that we were going to do a kind of full spring clean and freshen up of the stables um, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Um, as you can see we're in a t-shirt, it's quite warm weather, it's windy which means the whole stable will dry quickly, the paint will dry quickly and look, look what we have here. We've got a busy yes adrent. Hi! <laughs> you look, oh, how did that happen already? Okay, but, maybe clean his stable and then I can clean the truck. Like I'll start on the stable, you mean? Oh, just clean the stable. Oh, the inside. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, no, that's not I just, what I came out here for. I only wanted to just clean the truck. <laughs> oh, it's going all over us. Um, okay, yeah, so, but this this is going to be our... Okay, don't mind yes, the shoes, but this is going to be our... Uh, a machine of choice a good old steel will get the job done so we're gonna Don't power you? wash uh, everything first Do you like me to put the hose there huh we can't really connect it anywhere else that's true no that's fine that's where it has to go also because if we want to use warm water then we can I don't know if that's like overkill yes it's not oh hold on yeah oh you've started already you need to get the oh wait Oh. Got her. God, it's gonna be a long day. My only day off. I can already feel it. Oh. Right, we're doing it. Do you guys see how clean this is already? And then we're gonna just sand this down and repaint it. It's gonna be all worth it. I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get uh, this paint color, but not in a shiny finish. So I'm gonna be doing that in a second. That's why it looks like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna be doing that while Yes is busy washing. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's gonna start on the truck and I guess... Oh my God, it's just such a... Okay. Hell. It's nearly out. See? Uh, maybe it's clean enough actually. No. I would get the blower and just blow it. also had um, a little situation with poor little bear um, bear's got a diet field that he goes into um, but he escaped and he went onto the long grass for half a day so he had a very mild kind of laminitis episode so that's when they get like too much sugar and stuff from uh, from the grass and it affects like the hooves uh, we caught it just in time when he was just starting but that's why he's still separated from the others because um, you'll need just a couple of days, but he's feeling much, much, much better. You look like someone who's looking to either make a website or um, run your website on a better platform, then Squarespace is where you need to be. Squarespace offers hundreds of already made templates where you can go in, uh, pick your favorite one, still customize everything you want. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. It's super user-friendly. I run my shop on there. I've been running my website on Squarespace for almost four years now. Um, I truly, truly love the user experience. It's so easy to use on the go as well. You can make quick changes on your phone, whether it's updating stock levels, changing text, or uh, changing the photos as well. If this sounds like what you're looking for, then do use my link, which is www.squarespace.com slash madharniki. In doing so, you'll receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. We're almost set. One of my biggest flexes is that I have these like lunging clocks. You cannot buy them. Um, you can't even really be gifted them. I don't know how I managed to finesse these, but we have a couple, but they cannot get ruined. So these have to be put away. Put it like this. And then they also need to clean, clearly. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, they're gonna go flat. Okay. Okay. Necessary always. Okay, I think the plan of attack is just we wash first and then um, I want to do like all the white and then I want to do some touch-ups on the on the blue paint but look at all this all this is gonna get a nice deep clean um, I actually wonder how much of the roof will come off uh, this is that bit that we had painted so that's kind of how it will all finish in the end um, 
But yeah, I wonder what it what it's gonna look like when we when we do that. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, you want to do this first? No. Just wanted to show them. It's kind of nice, almost not having a bin there, just having that whole area empty. No. Also, so dirt doesn't like accumulate. Don't you think that looks nicer? Okay, get the hose. Come on. I want to see some action now. So am I doing it? Well, for, for I, I'll take. We'll take turns. So just from here. Just the hole and the roof. I know. So this. Know. Do we start with the roof? Yeah, no. you st start with the highest. Yeah, start with the highest. You have bit. it on your head the whole time. Well, who cares, no? You can better maybe do the sides, then do this, and then clear the sides one more time. No, just start with the roof. <sighs> Maybe you don't even have to pay. Oh, it's coming off really well. Wait. Idea. I've started here. So yeah, come better. On, come back. Yeah. It's your neck hurt. The stables are looking much cleaner. We got kind of that like first layer and film of like dust off, which means now we're ready to go in with a little bit of paint. The it's still a little bit wet here on the roof, so I'm gonna start on these columns. Well, we are. Yes, it's just holding. You're the not dry it. No, I'm not dressed up for painting. Yeah, but we're only painting like this. We're not going like that yet, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start with these two columns. I think we're just gonna use the rollers for most of it And then we're gonna have to carefully do these with the brushes, but maybe you can give a bit of a good look of the before So that's what we're dealing with and the other one as well And then we'll set up the camera and we're gonna both get get to it First coat is on. The first I'm making a video, yes, I remember that. <laughs> the first coat is on. It's I'm looking not wearing my hat, so don't film me. Oh. What'd you say? I'm not filming my hat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not wearing my hat. Oh, okay. Well, um, the first coat's gone on and it's looking pretty fresh. So that kind of gives you an idea of what's gonna happen. Now as you can see, there was some drippage, but that's not too bad because we need to repaint the bottom anyway here, so we will fix that later on. Good morning, it's the next day and it's 9.30 so we've done like horses done, dogs done, they're outside with me actually. Um, and I've already checked on the work, have to say it's looking pretty good. Everything has dried to like the touch but obviously it will need more time to like fully dry. Um, but I think what I'm going to do today, I'm alone because yes there's a way teaching which is not a problem. But I think I'm gonna tackle the next two uh, segments here. That way I can just like cross off the list this roof. Um, I'm gonna have a look if I think that the poles need a second coat. They actually look pretty good. 
So I'm gonna start painting the bottom of them. I'm gonna inspect them further just to see if they do need that second coat. But if they don't, I'm gonna start painting that that bottom bit. Then I wanna paint, there's this piece of wood, wood that kind of runs along the whole front of the stables. All of these, and then this whole beam that runs across. Yes, Bear, Bear's still in, but he's gonna be going out today. This whole beam that runs across the top, and maybe we'll do just this whole door section. This is like an outdoor toilet that we have for the stables that we never use. Um, but yeah, so those are the kind of uh, places, and then depending kind of how we go for time, I might be able to get a little bit more done. I mean, it is the beginning of the day, and last time we kind of did all of that in less than an hour. So let's see how we go for, for today. I think I'm gonna start first though, just with the roof, and then we can see a little bit how we track for time after after that. But I'm excited to get it done, because that's when I have something that's like incomplete, it bought, like the whole night I was like, okay, I need to do this tomorrow, I need to do this. I just wanna like get it done. So I think that'll be today's aim. Get as much finished as possible. break so you know my back could have come back to being in one piece um, I want to show you because I think it looks so good it's come out so well so the whole thing is done now um, all the posts have been redone so happy with that the next step is gonna be this door now I've already taped it off and I've already kind of sanded let me spin you around I've already taped it off and I've already kind of sanded down the areas that needed it but you can see that you can't see it now because of the sanding anymore so much but there's like bits where like the paint was starting to lift um, you can see it quite a lot through there and then also like just down here just not looking too fresh so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and slide the top underneath there somehow and then we're going to get to painting, but I think this one is going to be a super satisfying uh, job to do. We're going to see what the, how the color comes out, and depending on that, I'm either going to do some touch-ups or I'm just going to redo the whole face. But let's start with the door first and work our way from there. It's been a couple of days, everything has had a chance to dry. I'm pretty happy with the results. So we did like the top bar here. Let me show you really quickly also uh, the door. That's come out pretty good, but I do think it needs one more coat just to get it all really good. But the finish is really nice. And then I ended up doing also this wall. How much better does this whole area here look? So yes, his family's actually here. We're gonna be working on the whole paint job together and having a barbecue at the end which is going to be really fun um, but in the meantime before we end this video I want to show you guys really quickly this is the finished product so let's peel and see how it's come out I really hope this has come out well I'm worried and if not I've got to do it again wow. oh that's pretty good come on I'm no painter And if you're asking why I don't have proper paint tape, it's because it ran out. Oh, come look at this. Wow. Okay, there's a little bit of cleanup. Here. <gasps> okay, that's not bad. That's like better than the previous painters have done it. And that's, that's like their full-time job. That's not bad. Oh yeah, much better with this tape. Come around. 
Wow. Okay, in the cracks we need to work. <laughs> the cracks are showing our amateurism, but it's fine. On the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys also, we've redone the whole roof over there and we've redone the front doors on that side. So I'm going to be showing you that. <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> There's something in my phone here. Um, in, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys, we've done a redone the whole roof on that side, not us, but someone who knows what they're doing. And the whole front doors on that side and that's all going to be getting painted and the whole front of the stables and the interior is now going to be painted. I did find a spray paint that seems to be working. It's like very similar, but it needs a, a deeper coat just to cover everything a little bit better. But I think we're onto a winner with that one. So that's the painting video and kind of restoration video for today. I hope you all enjoyed joining us for a couple of days as we tackle this project. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have any other ideas of what we should do to kind of like spruce up the place, make it different. Maybe you have some suggestions for like what we should be doing instead for colors on the front of the stables. The but for now, the ceiling is very white. It's good. The ceiling came out so good and I love that it's got like this polished finish. Um, but yeah, for now that's everything. Thank you all so much for watching and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.